In today's episode of the Swing Report, we are breaking down the new TaylorMade Stealth HD Iron, brand new looking concept from TaylorMade, and we have Kevin Kraft here to hit the shots, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know about the new Stealth HD Iron. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments your thoughts on the Stealth HD Iron. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the second swing golf. I'm joined by Kevin Kraft, master club fitter at our Columbia location in the Twin Cities today. We are reviewing the new Stealth HD iron from TaylorMade. Um, unique, different looking iron. Uh, I know there's, yes. I mean, there's game improvement irons, there's player's irons, there's player distance irons. We know it's not a player's iron. We know it's probably not a player's distance iron either. Correct. Uh, so it's definitely geared towards helping players aid in performance right yes um, because it's a big kind of a chunky iron yep but you can tell there's a ton of technology in there there is um you know TaylorMade hasn't really had a super game improvement club for a while right and so they were sort of lacking in that segment so this is going to be their super mm -hmm. game improvement model it is designed for somebody who needs help getting that ball up in the air uh, who ha wants a little help getting it turning over yeah. or not falling off to the right right um the way this head is geared, uh, it is definitely geared for both those things. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a very shallow face, uh, which does promote a higher launch. We've yep. got a significant amount of offset here, right. oh, yeah. and all those things are just designed to help that player that needs yep. it. Yep, and I think there's there's a lot of those key technologies that are in TaylorMade irons. You mm -hmm. talk about the through slot speed pocket Absolutely. there on the back, yep. helping those low face strikes. You got the cap back design, a lot of explosiveness there. And then the echo damping system also helps with sound and kind of giving a feel that um, isn't that like brash kind of clicky, super loud and echoey. Correct. Kind of damping, you know, it yeah. echoes, the, reduces the echo on that sound. So, uh, but as you mentioned too, that shape and that design, it is, you can tell, right? There's a, mm -hmm. the, the, the punch is packed in there and there's some weight in that heel. Definitely. That's gonna kind of help that club turn it over, like you mentioned, yep. so pro promote the draw. So mm -hmm. I imagine you see a lot of golfers um, in fittings that come in, they're maybe not five handicaps, maybe they're a little bit higher than that, sure. and they struggle with that slice and squaring up that club face. Yeah, um, newer golfers, mm -hmm. right? This would not be a bad way at all for somebody that's, that's starting out. I mean, golf is hard, right? Mm -hmm. So why make it so much more difficult on ourselves by playing something that, that isn't designed to actually help us. Mm -hmm. um, slower swing speeds, again, you know, slower swing speeds, they have a hard time creating trajectory. This is gonna help create that trajectory. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot to this uh, that, that can really help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think we should also touch on the loft. So because, you know, we see those game improvement irons getting so strong Absolutely. into 27, 28, yep. and this one is at, for a seven iron, 30 degrees yep. at standard. So. To see that, I think, is probably encouraging a little bit, too, because they are still emphasizing the launch of getting the ball into the air. 100%, and, and they have to, because as as companies are chasing more and more distance, everybody seems to want to keep hitting it farther and farther. Mm -hmm. You know, we see that spin number dropping, yeah. and therefore trajectory becomes the way we're going to be able to, st you know, stop a golf ball. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's pleasing to see that the, the lofts haven't gotten mm -hmm. uh, too, too strong in this. You know, they're not working counter to what the golf club it's it's you know, right. designed to do. Right, exactly. So uh, we'll hit some shots here, Kevin. Uh, I want to kind of get your feedback on also that, that feel, that sound, mm -hmm. and then we'll see what the numbers say. And hopefully we get enough launch and left spin. I think we should, right? Yeah, let's give her a roll and see how high she goes. All right, Mr. Craft, Stealth HD Iron. Uh, you know the drill. Give me the yeah. uh, first impression on the appearance look at a dress, all that good stuff. So it's different, right? It's it's not, doesn't really look like a traditional golf club. Right. It looks a little more purpose built yeah. than okay. that. Um, you know, been around a long time. I've seen a lot of, a lot of different club designs. This definitely looks like a golf club that is designed to help you get the ball up in the yeah. air and yeah. turn her over. I mean, it's, yeah. It, it's not there's no false pretenses here it yeah. is it is exactly that it is yeah. a it is a purpose driven mm -hmm. piece of equipment yeah and i i again i'm a huge fan of that loft staying at 30 and yes, again, helping too. players because i think there's a lot of maybe moderate swing speeds that yep. will end up being fit into that iron absolutely um, so i know you test basically everything yes new equipment yep. you know at the store there 
something new comes in, you're setting it up, you're hitting it. So based on maybe the stealth model, mm -hmm. the original stealth model, or even other similar clubs, you have an estimate for what we might see today in testing distance wise, launch wise, anything, or are you just kind of, you're kind of unknown. Cause this is a kind of a new concept it, we haven't seen for a while. It is a little bit unknown. What, what I, what I really don't know is exactly how high this thing's going to go. Yeah. Um, I'm expecting, I'm going to have no problem getting it turning over. Yeah. Um, whether that's too much or, mm -hmm. or just the right amount, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but I do expect the ball should go pretty high. And as for distance, you know, look, TaylorMade makes a very fast golf club. Yeah. Uh, Stealth was my number one selling game improvement club last year. Yeah. Results were really, really good. Uh, yeah. And, and it was a great golf club for a lot of people. This just takes that guy that needs a little extra help yeah. and it gives him another option. Mm -hmm. And whether he likes the look of it or not, I mean, that's going to be the, that's going to be the big one, right? Yeah. If, if somebody looks down at it and goes, yeah, no, then we, we look <laughs> to other options, but, um, it's, it looks purpose built, but it's not, you know, it's, it's not, it's not outrageous. It, no, it's not. It's not. It's, yeah. it's okay. still a golf club. Yeah. Right. Uh, it doesn't look like, you know, that, like the power pod. Remember well, that thing? I do. I do. You know, so yeah. that was also a purpose built machine. Yeah. Apparently unsliceable. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. I've never spent any time with it. But, you know, always wanted one when I was a kid because it looked so different. Yeah. And it had actually a red, I think it might have been carbon face. Hmm. How about Maybe that? Maybe so that's where the team might got the idea. <laughs> Maybe so. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, let's let's give this thing a whirl. See what see what we get out of it. Perfect. Solid first swing there. I would call it marginally thin, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yep. It didn't. Could have fooled me. Huh? It didn't quite have it. Now, I mean, 185 yards on a on a thin shot with a seven iron. Yeah. Okay. 102 feet in the air. Not excessive for me at all, but again, it was a little yes. bit thin. And so. um, I, yeah, I guess I mean the smash is one for one, which is super efficient. Not, but not bad. Yeah, I, we we've done some testing before. We have. I know you can go higher than that. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I can. Yep. She going left. Yep. Yep. That's more of what uh, I was expecting. Okay, that's that's what she's built for. Another clean strike, it looked like. Okay, 109, 110. Okay. Nothing, nothing too crazy. It's being, it's mostly consistent on the height anyway. It's yeah. going a pretty solid, consistent number in the air. Yeah. Giving you a consistent and trajectory. Sound? Yeah. Really very pleasing. Yeah. Like there's there's none of that big clickiness oh, that, yeah. that can be. Especially know. for an even like you know, game improvement irons, but then even if this falls a super game improvement sure. iron, usually, I mean, that can make Absolutely. all kinds of feedback on audio. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. so good. So, so and, and feels good. Like yeah. it, it feels really solid at impact. Um, feels fast. Yeah, I mean, that's it's what anybody would want in right. the the sound and mm -hmm. feel of a golf right. club. I think. That one was really solid. Oh yeah, one fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we couldn't, got we couldn't got get it over here. one four or five Smash Factory though. Yeah, well, I mean, it's an iron. Yeah, expectations, you know. <laughs> we 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 try to manage them for you. Um, here's our shots. Um, spin hovering around high four thousands for the yeah. most part. Um, and the Smash was anywhere from one four one. Your first kind of thin ball to one four five. You're carrying the ball anywhere from 185 to up into the low 190s, which is pretty consistent given yeah. there was a couple of strikes that weren't perfect. Yeah. Um, I'm, I was kind of fascinated by, you know, there is that draw tendency showing yeah. up there and the kind of the tendency to move it a little bit left. Sure. And then you had really your misses right were not really misses right. They were still kind of on target. So. They, they were the ones that I would actually really like. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So I guess, while we have the numbers up, while we have all this information here, what else jumps out at you? And it could be even feedback from hitting the balls. And um, I mean, what else do you have here looking at this stuff? So, I mean, consistency. Yeah. It, it's, it was a very consistent performer. Um, the golf club did what it was supposed to do. I think we've talked about that once or twice. Yeah. Uh, having a golf club that does what it's supposed to do is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Um, 
you know, trajectory was was good. It got up there really nicely, uh, but distance was really good. So you know, the tech in this golf club, uh, you know, you're not getting something that is just designed to help you get up the ball and uh, you know, get yeah. the ball up and, and turn it over. But it's actually there's a lot of speed in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I really enjoyed the feel at impact. Yeah. I think it feels really solid. Auditory response is really really good. Yeah. I mean this. You know, as long as as long as you you don't reject the the look of it, yeah. Um, this is a golf club that can help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the feedback I had. First of all, the the, the audio, the feel from what yeah. you said and what I've heard, really good for an iron of that shape and size. It is. Yeah, I think it's really yeah. good. And then I also I appreciate the kind of how unique it is, the novelty of a club like that right mm -hmm. now in the in the market because there's not a ton of them that are kind of almost bridging the gap a little bit between game improvement and super game improvement. Yeah, it's that. not. And I think that does that well. The last one that we really saw was was uh, was Cobra Baffler, and that's yeah. it's been a number of years now since, mm -hmm. well, that one might have been back in the mid to late. It's been a while. You know, 14, 15 yeah. area. So it's it has been a while. Um, it was viable then, and it's definitely viable now. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, these things all cycle. Yeah. Right, so it's it was it was time, and I think it's a very good idea that Taylor made has has mm -hmm. brought to us. For yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, you got some good good numbers up there. Let's uh, let's wrap this thing up with the final thoughts. Okay, um, I'm going to be able to sell this golf club. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a good portion of golfers that that we see that will benefit from the design of this golf club. You got to get over the look just a little bit, right? It, it mm -hmm. is definitely different from what we see across most of the the game improvement yeah. category. But if you need help getting it up, if you need help turning it over, um, it's got a good wide, you know, it's got a pretty good blade length. So there's a big sweet spot in here. Mm -hmm. This golf club is going to help you play better golf, and. The tech is definitely there. TaylorMade's thrown all the good stuff into this. Um, I think it's I think it's a, a really nice addition to to the, the line for 2023. Mr. Kraft, testing complete there. Stealth HD iron. Um, I know we hit on all the key points, but mm -hmm. let's kind of go over it again. I mean, uh, high launch, a lot of ball speed, yep. and kind of a a little bit of a bias, easy for you to turn that thing over right sure. to left. For, yeah. So, you know, definitely a lot of golfers out there that fall into a category where any of those benefits will help their game. Absolutely. Um, I, I think it's a winner, really, mm -hmm. for, for TaylorMade. It's it's a category they weren't in. Yeah. They brought something out. She's not the most beautiful iron yeah. I've ever seen, but she's not built for, for beauty. She's built for mm -hmm. a purpose, right? right. And yeah. it's going to... it's it's going to serve that purpose. Yeah, because it's yeah. like, it's. I mean, with Sim in Sim 2, they had the Max OS, yes. which may have been kind of part of this, yeah. and then they went away from it with Stealth um, in 2022. So yes. they're kind of, maybe they're kind of seeing that they they could add and maybe serve those golfers like once again, or they tried to maybe throw it all into Stealth. I'm not exactly sure I think on all that, but I think clearly they're serving a purpose, yeah. building it for a purpose. I think the Stealth one. and Stealth OS were... were there wasn't enough of a separation there between those two lines, yeah. right? There was, the OS was a little thicker, uh, loft was a little tiny bit different, but there wasn't there wasn't a real big dividing line. Yeah, between the, this yeah. draws a line, yeah, and it says, okay, I am a super game improvement golf club. Yeah, I'm here to serve a purpose. I'm here to help you out. Yeah, and this one's gonna do. Yeah, that. I think so too. I think yeah. so too. So golfers, if you feel like you are the type of player that could benefit from the Stealth HD iron. Schedule that fitting at Second Swing in any of our stores. Someone like Mr. Kraft here will dial you in. Make sure you're hitting better iron shots, hitting more greens and regulation. So, Kevin, thanks for joining. Really Anytime. good stuff today. Anytime. Thanks.